everybody, it's Alana. And first off, I wanted to welcome all of my new subscribers to my channel. Thanks so much for subscribing. And to all of my existing subscribers, thanks so much for supporting my channel and sticking around and um, commenting and all of that. I really love interacting with you guys. Okay, so this is a review slash up close. It's, more, it's mostly an up close um, and let's explore, you know, <laughs> a video than anything else. And I will be doing a comparison at the end of the video. So this is the um, Rogue shoulder bag. And I don't know why I haven't done a video on this before. This bag is really, really nice. I love it, love it, love it. I've used it a number of times. And um, also, I haven't seen a whole lot of YouTube videos done on this bag, so I don't know why I haven't done one. But now's the perfect time, so <laughs> I'm on it now. So this is the Rogue shoulder bag, and it is in the color black. And um, it's just like the other rogues, except, I mean, it has the same setup as the other rogues, except there are no double handles. The satchel handles or whatever kind of handles you call those double ones, the rolled handles, doesn't have those. And the straps, the two straps are longer than the other rogues. And um, the other difference is it's actually, um, well, there are different size rogues, and this one happens to be between the 25 and the 31. Right, the regular rogue, you know. And um, yeah, so here's how it looks. It looks a lot like the other rogues. You know how the zippers go all the way down and all that. That's, oops, wrong strap. Okay, and then the interior, of course, is the same. The zipper, you have the double zipper here. Um, the zipper compartment is the largest uh, section, of course, and then you have the two open compartments here. And on, let's go inside. The interior looks just like the uh, Rogue 25 setup. It has, uh, the, the Rogue shoulder has the same uh, light color, what is this, jacquard canvas material, zipper pocket on one wall, and the snap pocket on the other wall. Just like the 25. The other rogues, the 31 and above, have the kiss lock, little kiss lock pocket on that side. And I don't know what the 17 has. I haven't looked inside because it's it's a pretty much a baby bag. It's a baby's bag. <laughs> little girl bag. I won't say that. It's gorgeous and it's a nice bag, but it's too tiny for me. So yeah, that's the that's the rogue shoulder bag. And um, now I will do I will do um Oh, first, let me tell you, this is the color black, of course. This was the one I really wanted when it first came out because I love black with gold tone hardware and with the oxblood um, interior. I love that color combination. It's one of my favorite by Coach. Could be my absolute favorite by Coach. But this one is black and the, um, this, the Rogue shoulder was produced in this kind of leather and also smooth leather in a couple of other colors. And um, this is the caviar leather I say caviar it's quote-unquote caviar because that's not the technical name I can't remember what the technical name is but it looks like caviar leather and that's what some of the sales associates um, and I were calling it and plenty of other people call it that too this kind of leather is very it's not it you can't really scratch it it's very durable and hardy um, well, not hardy, it's not thick or anything, but it's, it's pretty um, hard on the surface, but it's flexible, which is really cool. So it's not like as hard as Saffiano, but I think it might be as durable as Saffiano leather. And also, um, Coach's cross grain, cross grain leather, I think it's called. It's also very, very durable and, you know, tough. And that's what this caviar leather is too. So I really wanted it because it's, it can hold up, it can withstand a lot. So that's the bag there. And measurements, let us go into the measurements. Um, I already measured the, um, the the strap drop. It's 14 whole inches. The strap drop is 14 whole inches and I measured it off camera because it goes out of, out of the shot when I measure it because it's so long. This in centimeters, 28 centimeters across and that's 11 inches. Um, right above, let's see, right above eight inches height and the depth, 
is right at, let's see, right over four. It's right over four inches in depth. So this is between, again, between the 25 and the 31. And yeah, um, that's the bag. I will go into what fits. This bag is fantastic. By the way, before I talk about, I mean, before I go into what fits, this bag is super lightweight. I measured it, I mean, I weighed it, excuse me, and it is 1.9 ounces, one pound, nine ounces, which means super, for a handbag, super, super lightweight on its own. It opens pretty wide. Pretty wide, it opens wider than the um, 25 because it's longer. It's definitely longer. Okay, so let's go into what fits. Pouch with makeup or lotion and all that stuff. That's what I keep, I keep in um, that when I travel. But um, that could be, a, it can double as a makeup, makeup pouch. Um, full size zip around wallet by Coach. Coin purse by Dooney and Burke. And there's enough space that I don't have, I can just drop stuff in. I don't have to like finagle this and that and, you know, move stuff around. This is what I keep my receipts in. This is, by the way, a wristlet. That was part of, it's part, it's the outlet. It's an outlet item. It was part of the, um, what's it called? The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz collection. I'm trying to get the camera to focus so you can see this gorgeous bag. This gorgeous little wristlet. Oh, come on. Anyway, it's super pretty. It's super cute with the little shoes. It has glitter on the shoes. And it the ox blood, it's ox blood. It matches a whole lot of my a whole lot of my uh bag interiors. Keys. And then I also have this tape measure that I like to take with me sometimes. Um by Patricia Nash. I take I take that in my purse sometimes so I can measure things. And Quite a bit fits. Easily. Easily fits in there. This actually fits as much as the 25 does because it's, again, a little bit longer. It's a little bit longer, whereas the 25 is, um, uh, what is that? Uh, one and a half inches deeper. I'll just leave everything in here while I do a size comparison. The bag looks, I mean, it's full. Not too, too heavy, but of course that depends on what you put in the bag. It doesn't, um, it doesn't, uh, it's not like too stuffed. It's not like pushing out at the sides or anything, which is really cool. Oh, I forgot to mention, the chains are hollowed out metal, so they're not heavy at all. The Parkers, what else, the Swagger, this, the most recent Swagger 20 which is the crossbody, has the same hollowed out metal chain. It's really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot this over here and compare it to the roll first. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see both of these. Zoom out, there we go. Here's my 1941 red. So the Rogue, this Rogue is about three inches, I mean three centimeters longer. It's about um, uh, one and a half inches, what is this, 12 inches? A little over 12 inches. So it's, it's, about, it's about one and a half uh, longer and it's of course a lot, a lot higher and the depth is quite a bit deeper of course. I should have emptied this thing because now it is a little hard to push. It's a little deeper. Oh, it's deeper, of course. It's, um, what, one and a half inches deeper? And, of course, the roll fits a lot more than the 25 and the shoulder bag. Now, the roll 25 in comparison, this is probably closer in size. It looks closer in size, at least. This is, um, I don't know if you remember the, um, the other video I did, the previous video. This is about 10 inches in length. This is 11. This is almost eight inches in height. This is a little over eight inches in height. And of course, 
five and a half in depth and four in depth, a little over four. And the strap, oh, the straps on the regular Rogue were 10 and a half, and the straps on the Rogue 25 are 11 and a half. But still, neither one of them comes close to 14. And you can feel the difference in the strap drop, too. They don't feel the same as uh, these long straps here. They don't feel the same. But they're still great. 11 and a half and 10 and a half is still great. Okay, so that's um, that's my comparison um, and the review, uh, the review of this bag. This bag I highly recommend. If you want a lightweight Rogue, this is the way to go. In the smooth leather or the caviar leather. And um, if these handles bug you, which I don't, they don't bug me at all. I love them because you can, you can, um, you can put them inside, of course, and then you basically have the rogue shoulder here, haha, <laughs> with the uh, handles. That's why I like this bag the uh, the best, the rogue, the best because it's um it has so many different options to carry the bag. So, uh, but if you want lightweight and you don't want it as deep as this. This is definitely a fantastic bag, and it's not a whole lot bigger than the 25, so it's perfect. It's perfect size, and, you know, it's great. So I highly recommend, again, highly recommend the bag. All right, take care of yourselves. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will try to get them answered for you. Take care of yourselves. Bye.